Simple science. How do things move? If you go to a local park or playground, you can experiment with different kinds of movement: jumping, hopping, sliding, swinging, spinning, and rolling. Are just some of the different ways of moving. Pushing or pulling things can make objects start to move. For example, this drawer was opened by pulling the handle, and this door was closed by pushing it. The person in the rowing boat makes it move by pulling on the oars. What happens if the person pulls harder on the oars? The rowing boat moves faster. The person on the bike makes it move by pushing on the pedals. What happens if the person pushes harder on the pedals? The bike moves faster. Pushing or pulling things can also make moving objects slow down or stop. For example. Pulling on the string stops the balloon floating away, and pushing up against the box as it slides downhill slows it down. It can be dangerous to try to stop heavy or fast-moving objects. To stop them requires a lot of force, and if you get in their way, you can be knocked over and hurt. So unless you are very big or powerful, it is best to keep out of their way. It is not only people that can make things move by pushing them. Water can be used to make a water wheel turn. The weight of the water is used to push down on the water wheel and make it turn. The wind also can make the blades of a windmill spin. In this case, moving air pushes against the angled blades of the windmill and sets them spinning.